Hey guys, welcome back and happy Thanksgiving to all of my American viewers. I realize that I'm very old Hollywood glamour today. It's not super intentional. I was trying to be a little bit festive and honestly just do something different. I'm a little bit sick of my look lately. Maybe not sick of it. I just kind of wanted to do something a little bit different. So I have done this hair before, but it's been a while and I like it. So I don't normally see you guys three times in one week. But when Beauty Heroes comes out with a 13th beauty discovery box, I do an extra video. <laughs> I don't actually know if they did this last year. I was reviewing the boxes last year, but I think maybe I wasn't yet a brand ambassador, or maybe this is something that they've started new this year, but anyway. So the thought process behind this box, timed with sort of the release date on Thanksgiving, is that it's a one-time special edition box that's perfect for gift giving. And I wish that my box looked as pretty as it did when it came to me, but it's not as pretty. Where the 13th Beauty Discovery features Kahina Giving Beauty. So the hero product is the Moroccan Belle D Soap. You can choose from two scents, the rose or the eucalyptus. You also get one of the exfoliating mitts, a deluxe sort of traveler size of the body serum in Essa Uria, <laughs> and a travel size in this really pretty sort of hunter green silk bag of the Essa Uria perfume that looks like this. And it comes really, really beautifully packaged. I wish I had taken a picture before I dove into it. Sometimes I do, sometimes I'm just like literally too excited to get into the box. It does come tied with a really pretty red ribbon. It's packaged beautifully, so very appropriate indeed for gift giving. So let's talk about a few logistics and then I'll tell you about my impressions of the box and kind of review of the products. The full value of the box, so it depends on whether you opt to do the eucalyptus or the rose. The rose is slightly more expensive, and I did get the rose, FYI. So it looks like it's just a $3 price difference, I think. The box for purchase, and you don't have to be a Beauty Heroes subscriber, is $45 if you want to do the eucalyptus box and $48 if you want to do the rose box. And members do get a 15% discount. It's the same as when they did the elective vapor organic beauty box discovery. Shipping is, you do have to pay for shipping unless you get up to, I think, $75 in the Beauty Hero shop and then shipping is free. I see online the total value of the discovery is between $89 and $97. So it is a really good deal. The Belle D soap itself in eucalyptus is $38. The rose is $46. So that's already the cost of the box. 30 ml of the body serum retails for $32. 200 milliliters of the body serum is $98. And the perfume retails for $78. Full size. And then the value of the mitt is $14. I think I forgot to mention that. So I have never been to a traditional Turkish bath. That's an experience I would love to have someday. But the Belle D soap and the mitt are plucked directly from the time-honored hammam experience. I've heard nothing but amazing things from people that have been to traditional hammams. I had always sort of been curious about this, mostly because body care products are kind of my current frontier of trying to find really exceptional products for. I feel like I've done that for skincare and makeup, and body care is a realm that has needed a little bit more sort of testing and digging. I was very, very curious to get to test out this soap. The sun is not working in my favor. Sorry about that. So this is what the soap looks like. I'll try and insert a close up as well. So it's basically just saponified olive oil and rose flower oil, or it would be eucalyptus. So it's like pretty much as clean as clean gets as far as formulation. And the whole point of this process, you can use this as just kind of like scoop a little bit out and use it to wash your body, but the whole point of replicating the Turkish bath hammam experience at home is that you are supposed to scoop it out, apply it to your skin, let it sit on your skin like kind of as long as you can, like 10 or 15 minutes longer. Okay, and this is where it gets a little fuzzy to me. I have heard people then wetting the mitt and taking the mitt and going over their body with the product still on it, which I have tried doing, or I have heard that you are technically supposed to remove all of the soap from your body 
and kind of like get all the excess water off of your body and then do the mitt and your skin will be start rolling off. It like sounds super gross, but it'll start sort of rolling off and you'll be doing like a really deep exfoliation. So my understanding is that the Beldy soap basically softens the skin and prepares it to be properly and pretty deeply exfoliated with the mitt. Like I mentioned, I've tried both ways and I found them both to be pretty equally effective at exfoliating. It's probably the nicest at home exfoliation experience that I've had. The only thing I have personally tried that sort of competes with this are those carbon charcoal mitts that they used to sell on Spirit Beauty Lounge. And I don't even remember the brand, but I had been through two or three pairs of those. My skin feels similar using this as it did with that, which is to say extremely, extremely smooth. Now, apparently you can do this every day. I personally wouldn't because I find that it is kind of a, a deep exfoliation. It's also quite a process if you do decide that you want to let it kind of like sit on your skin. You can just kind of use it as sort of a daily soap as well. I have quite <sighs> sensitive skin, actually more so on my body than on my face, to be honest. I feel like the skin on my face is not terribly reactive, but on my body, I will get kind of like flushed and like a little bit rashy, kind of like with exfoliation, like very, very quickly. This is something I would do probably not more than once a week, the whole process using the mitt and stuff, but the soap I have been using daily and really enjoying. The rose scent in the soap is nice. It's not like synthetic fake by Terry smelling rose which I don't really care for. It's more like essential oil rose. I can't attest the, to the eucalyptus, but I've heard it's very nice and maybe particularly nice going into winter and like cold season. So then to talk about the body serum and the perfume sample. So as I said, Kahina makes two scents, the Essa Uria. <laughs> I'm gonna mispronounce it the whole video. Essa Uria, that and Fez. And I have to say, to be completely honest, I personally very slightly prefer the Fez scent profile to this, but I do like this as well. I like that they're letting people customize the scent of the Beldy soap. It would have been awesome if they had also customized the serum and perfume sample. That would have been like really cool to be able to choose like a soap scent and a body serum perfume scent, but I actually understand why they went for Essoria over Fez. I think that Essoria is more sort of universally appealing. Fez is one of those kind of interesting, deeper, earthier, muskier, nuttier, kind of intense fragrances. And I have sampled both the body serum and the perfume of Fez, and Essoria is I think I've gotten in the hang of saying it correctly, I hope, is sort of the lighter sister version. So I would consider Fez to be like fall, winter, and Essoria to be spring, summer. To me, this is sort of brighter. It's a little bit greener, grassier. It's like fresher versus deeper and earthier, if that makes sense. And so I think that more people will like Essoria. In terms of the body serum, it's a really beautiful sort of light viscosity body oil. I really like it. I find it to be nice and moisturizing. For body oils like this, I personally will only use them kind of like decollete, arms, and torso. Just to note, the oils in here are organic argan, sunflower, olive, coconut, and watermelon seed oils. So I would situate this on the lighter end of the body oil spectrum. For example, it's I don't find it to be as thick as like the Max and Me Cloud of Protection. I find it to be lighter than that. I'm trying to think of like some other body oils. It's actually quite a similar weight or viscosity as my previously beloved Bija Body Daily Body Serum, which is a moot point because it's discontinued, but that's like my point of reference. Yes, very light, very beautiful. I've really been enjoying it. And it's one of the body oils where the scent does linger. There are body oils where the scent lingers and body oils where the scent doesn't really linger. And I would put this on par in terms of scent lingering with something like the laurel body oils, although the laurel body oils are th much thicker than this in my experience. So if you're someone that doesn't really like the feel of a heavy body oil like the laurel ones, which I personally love, I love both. I love body oils. <laughs> if you like a lighter body oil, 
that I think would honestly be great in the morning and in the evening. This is a great option. And then this is a really nice, generous perfume sample that they've included of Esso Rhea. And it literally smells like exactly like the body serum. So it's nice to, I guess, kind of layer them if you're someone that would use that body serum in the morning. The main scent notes are rose, sandalwood, lavender, geranium, and petty grain. For a subtle scent to take you from day to evening, I agree. I think it would definitely be an appropriate daytime scent, although I'll wear Fez during the day too. So I think that this is a really lovely way to get to try this. I would also, if you can get your hands on a sample of Fez at some point, I would encourage you to just so that you can sort of compare and get to experience both ends of the Kahina scent spectrum because I think they did a really good job actually capturing very distinct kind of like moods and seasons and I feel like they evoke very different energies and I think that they're really beautiful. This for me has been working beautifully with Infiore Patchouli Royale. I'll mix those on my pulse points and neck and then I'll do I don't know, sometimes I'll mix it with like the Kiehl's Original Musk, which is a clearly not eco fragrance kind of spritzed on my clothes. And I've been getting a lot of questions and compliments and people being very attracted to the scents that I'm wearing. So I think that there's something to this perfume. So I'm not sure if I've mentioned yet, but the theme for this box is giving is beautiful. And I wanted to share with you guys that Jeannie from Beauty Heroes decided that she wanted to donate a thousand dollars on behalf of the Beauty Heroes community to a charity of Catherine LaRue, the founder of Kahina's Choice. And so Catherine selected a charity called Education for All or EFA Morocco, which supports women living in Morocco to get a high school education. So that donation has actually already happened. It just so happens that $1,000 is the amount that it takes to sponsor one girl for a full year of high school. And so Jeannie is going to be receiving information about the recipient that the Beauty Heroes community is sponsoring. So to all of you who are part of the Beauty Heroes family, it makes me feel really good to know that Jeannie has this philanthropic spirit and that we're all kind of engaged in a community that really cares about giving back and trying to make the world a better place. So I love that this box is being announced on Thanksgiving. I am think so thankful for all of you who are such loyal viewers of my channel. So I hope that you'll consider picking up one of these for yourself or to give away as gifts. I think it's a gorgeous way to help people discover green beauty. So I will have a link down below in the description bar to go and pick this up or to give Beauty Heroes as a gift subscription. That's also an option and very fitting for this time of year. It would be the gift that keeps on giving for at least three months. So if you have any questions about this box or Beauty Heroes or anything that I can help shed light on, uh, please ask in the comments. Let me know if you're planning to pick up this box, if you've already tried some of these things, what your thoughts are. I learned so much from you guys and yeah, I'm feeling all kinds of sappy and happy right now doing this video. So I really, really appreciate you guys. I hope that all of you Americans had a wonderful Thanksgiving. So I'll see you guys in just a couple of days on Sunday. You'll be sick of me by the end of that. <laughs> I'll see you then, bye.